Welcome to flight school, I mean playing lessons. I'm Holly Saunders and this is not my plane, but the man who owns it is the shark. And we're heading down to the Bahamas to play at one of his golf courses that he designed. Let's get right to it. This is going to be a great day. Oh. Welcome aboard. This is pretty nice. Yeah, it's a home away from home. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right, so where are we going exactly? Uh, we're going to uh, Emerald Bay in the Exuma Bahamas. And uh, we originally asked to build this golf course on Emerald Bay, gosh, maybe 15 years ago. And now, I mean, the layout is magnificent. You'll see when you get there, it's actually six holes are right on the ocean. It's challenging because it's very narrow. Uh, but at the uh -oh. same time, uh-oh, you're in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble. So uh, your game is going to be better than mine, so don't worry about that. I like that. the rest of it. I like the whole, you know, I'm setting the we'll water. Have, we'll have a couple of rum runners before we tee off. <laughs> rum runners, right? <laughs> See? I like him. I knew I liked him. Greg Norman, the only man who looks better in this hat than I do. The only person in the world. It's a well, pleasure. Being a, being a guy looking better than you is a really good thing. <laughs> you know, <if> I was... <laughs> That's next level. And we're going to take it to the next level now. Let's uh, see how you warm up for a round. Interested Absolutely. to pick your brain. Well, before you even get to a golf ball, uh, the general public out there, I know you don't do this. I know they don't go and stretch, mm -hmm. get the heart cardio up a little bit. I'm always a big believer, no matter what time of day you are playing, is to get the blood flowing. Yep. The more the blood flows, you don't have to spike your heart rate to 180, 200, but get it up to get the blood flowing because you get oxygen through your muscles. Yep. And when the oxygen is through the muscles, then you can stretch a little bit. When you stretch, you can walk out to the range and it doesn't take you as long to, to get loose. Okay. But again, most, most of the individuals who, who, who practice or, or go to play on the weekends, they really ignore this part of the range. And the range really teaches you what your body is doing on this specific day. Um, there's been times when my body wouldn't, my muscles wouldn't function as well. What I took from the range is what I took to the golf course. I didn't try and fight it. So really my whole process was start early. I mean early, I mean low down with a 52 or a sand wedge and, and hit it about 50 yards, 40 yards. But every time I hit it, I focused on where I wanted the ball to land. Not where I wanted the ball to finish, but where I wanted the ball to land. I was always a big believer in being a very, very um, microscopic focal point as much as I could. And I'll go uh, that into that a little bit later as we play around. So you always have a target? Always have a target. Okay. Always focusing on accelerating the club head through the ball. Um, on the range, if you start decelerating here, that means you're either overswinging or you're extremely tentative or you're nervous about the day. Always start with short and accelerate because I can always go a little bit longer as my clubs get longer, and but I'm keeping that acceleration going through the ball. All right, let's see, hit some, and then I'll ask you if you have any particular drills. What would you tell amateurs if they're not striking it the way they want to? They hit some errant ones on the range. Put it out of your mind before the round? Put it out of your mind or a lot of times alignment can throw somebody off very, very quickly with their takeaway, uh, with the length of their swing. If you aim too far to the right, you'll come over the top a little bit. So I would make sure that they check their alignment straight mm -hmm. away. You can put a golf club down yeah. to make sure, you know, nowadays they have that, um, you know, yeah, just put your golf club down to where you want to go and make sure everything is square. A lot of, a lot, this is another thing, a lot of people put their golf club to their toes. Now, mm -hmm. if I stand dead square, that's going to be dead square. But if I turn my left toe out, which yeah. most people do, now you think you're aiming to the left. Yeah. But actually, you're dead square at your hip. So the best way to do your alignment is Behind your you. heels are always square. Because oh. no matter what I do here, my heels stay in the same position. It's the first time I've seen that. So I always always put the club behind myself, behind my heels, because okay. now I know I'm dead square to that sprinkler head. Okay. So that's a, that's probably a good tip for most people with alignment. Because right. you can once your heels are in place, now you sink into a natural position. Now everything is dead square. You, you don't really offset yourself 
in any you're standing it makes in the sense. bath. It makes sense. Greg, you said you don't use a lot of drills when you're warming up, but how do you know that you're getting in the right spots? One thing that I've always focused on with my golf swing is rotating the triangle. The triangle to me is between the grip, your hands, and the two shoulders. So here's my triangle. So my whole idea of rotating the golf club is turn your shoulders. If I turn my shoulders and get the club in a parallel position to the ground, that golf club should be pointing to exactly where I want it to go. It's never inside. It's never out. Uh, the club is not too far on the outside of the line. It is dead, dead parallel to the ground. So if I drop that, that should be parallel to the club behind me. Now, obviously, that when that bounces, it's going to move a little bit. So I was a big believer in if I could get to there, from there I just keep rotating. Mm -hmm. And when I came through the ball, that line would be going straight down to where I wanted to hit it. So you can check so, yourself that way. So that was my triangle. Um, Charlie Earp, my first teacher, was a, insistent on that. He said, Greg, swing the golf club with your shoulders and triangle. So that, that gave me a tremendous amount of extension. Okay. And that's why I hit the ball so far. How do you know you're ready to hit the course after the range? Probably your tea time. <laughs> <laughs> it's our tea time. Let's go. It's our tea time. Let's go. <laughs> If you make this putt, I will jump naked in that water right now. <laughs> okay. That? There it is. There it is. Come on. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> Belly flop.